In our last video, the problem was pretty obvious. In this one, not so much. Welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. As we look at these heel bulbs, we can see a little bit of swelling in that medial claw, so I'm tending to think it's gonna be there. Nothing too extreme though. So we look at the sole, there's one small area which appears to be just some incomplete shedding, so nothing really alarming there either. So let's get this trim underway and see if we can figure it out. As we begin to get this sole cleaned up, a nice half circle shape begins to appear and that is a dead giveaway. A dead giveaway to what, you might ask? Well, to a puncture. Anything that is a perfect shape, in this case a little half circle like that, is a sign that this is some type of man-made object that has gone through this sole. As we work our way closer to that corium, we can see we've got some coloration starting to show up here. We've got some bruising right down near that puncture site. And if you look here, you can see we've got a tiny bit of separation as well. So we gotta keep working our way. We gotta see how far this is gonna go and the extent of the problem underneath. Anytime you find a puncture like this and you don't have the object in front of you to know what caused it, you gotta put your detective hat on and try to figure it out. In this case, we know it's a half circle. So we could be looking at maybe an exposed piece of rebar somewhere. Maybe it's a screw head, a partial screw head that's exposed that the cow is able to step on. Either way, what I'm doing is I'm going to pass that information on to the herdsmen, any of the workers there, try to figure out where or how she may have stepped on this. And in this case, that's exactly what I did. Gave that information to the herdsman here and he was able to find a spot in the parlor where the rubber mats were anchored to the floor and there was an exposed screw head. Fits perfectly with what we see here and that's probably what caused this problem. As sore as she was when she came into the chute, I fully expected to find a pocket of fluid somewhere in this claw, but it just never materialized. I worked away this loose horn here. Eventually, that's gonna terminate. So all we're left with, really, is that big bruise in the sole of her foot. Zoom in here and give you a little closer look and see the area where that object had gone through. It's real soft here. We're right at that corium level, just the thinnest layer of hoof horn left. This area of separation here, that's terminated. We've gotten that all out. We'll zoom in a little bit closer here. You can see how normally if we've got separation, it'll be dark. This is pink. It's a dead giveaway that we're right at that corium. We don't need to go any further. You can see how soft this area is. It makes sense that any pressure there would cause problems, so we're gonna get a block in that other claw, elevate that one, and let it rest. Now about now is when we would normally wrap up this video, but not this time. We've got her follow-up included in this video. We're gonna to get to that as soon as we finish this up. Now something that I'm gonna do a little bit different in this one, because this area is soft, I'm gonna actually put some gauze there just to protect it, just as a little bit of padding because she's gonna go into a bedding pack pen for a couple of weeks, just so we can try to get this uh, sole to thicken up a little bit. We're gonna put that there as just a layer of padding so nothing is poking in that soft spot. We're gonna let her go and you're gonna see she is not comfortable right now on this foot at all. It's still bothering her, even with that block on. She's really not sure how to react with it. So we're gonna give her some time in this nice soft pen and once again, like I said, we're gonna show you what she looked like two weeks later, coming up. Here we are now with two weeks of rest on that bed pack. Let's get this claw cleaned up and see how much she's improved. Look up above, 
Swelling is a little bit better, a little bit there still, but not nearly as bad. We're going to get this trimmed up. We're going to test those areas and see if they've firmed up any. Now that we've gotten this area all cleaned up and get a better look at it here, you can see we've got good horn growth all the way along there. That bruising is really starting to fade away, which is perfect. I was really concerned about that at first. Wasn't sure if maybe that was going to develop into something more serious later on. You can see this heel bulb looks better. They're more symmetrical from side to side now. A little bit of swelling left in there, but really not too much anymore. The big change, that's going to be when we let her out of the chute, you're gonna see how much better she feels on this foot now. She's got quite the pep in her step now, doesn't she?